sure you keep in touch. Yeah, I agree with that. Call when you can. Do you have my cell phone number? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. Okay, fine. Don't forget us here. Yeah. Well, listen, to start with, don't forget your appointment with Bob Gomez on Friday. Ah. That visa will be with you for you. Thank okay? you. Okay? I'll hook you up in the US of it. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me explain how this situation works. I'm going to go to Malaysia first. From Malaysia, I'll declare Salem. I'll hang out in Malaysia for like three months. From Malaysia, I immigrate to Bahamas. Suck up a little sun, a little coconut, wine and all that. One or two nights with bikinis. <laughs> Do it three months, enter Canada. Okay. Check out the code, check out the economic section of it, get this going on my side, buy up one or two companies, <laughs> go to the so US. Fair, right? oh, this is you. After I've finished buying the Liberty Statue of Liberty in the US. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Boy. All right. Huh? Just, just keep in touch, man. And I'm scared, man. Forget all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we boys. Don't forget me. Don't forget. That's why we're here. We're here. We're here. There we go. Look at that. Come here. Are you looking for somebody? Yes, ma. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm looking for Mr. Gomez. I believe he lives here. Gomez? Yeah, yes, ma. Gomez, Ike. Eh? That man is a criminal. He ran away. The police have been looking for him. He took a lot of people's money and ran away. He duped them. He told them that he would give them American visa. That man? You can't be sure, ma. You have to be a mistake. Mistake? Mistake, Ike. I'm telling you something, you are telling me mistake. That man is a criminal. The policemen are looking for him everywhere. He took a lot of people's money and ran away. I don't even think that man is a Nigerian. Ah, yeah. At times he speaks slangs like uh, an American. <laughs> Instead of people to walk, they will be looking for her to go to America. America, call Russia, and our line in Kashi. Eh, eh, no, watch it. Oh, she No, it's to be. Oh, she I going to please. I know this is a very unusual request, but Bob Gomez ran away with the money. Mr. Bakari. It is not our fault that Mr. Gomez, or what do you call his name, ran away with your money. We equally have people to we answer to. Pay your loan back, or else we will use the car to pay for the loan. My car, sir, my car is worth more than the loan. That car is a Honda 2005 end of discussion. It is worth almost 5 million naira, sir. Say, end of discussion, what did he buy? Oh, T bear, when you beginning of discussion, what man, Munubimu? Huh? I don't have a problem. Just pay the money. Bring the two hundred and fifty thousand naira interest. You hear me? Because if you do not, at the end of this week, Friday, the interest goes up to thirty-five percent, and you be paying that. Ah, you can't sell this car, please, Chief. You can't sell this car. No matter what you go seek or talk about, so but I will sell it, and nothing will happen. Pay your money. Look, no money will be you. I don't have a problem. Just bring the money, bring the 250000 naira interest before the maturity date of this Friday. And if you do not bring it, remember that the money will increase, the interest will increase to 35%. Look, 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 I don't have anything to do with your car, me, if you move to car. As you can see, we have over 15 cars in our impound. Pay the money. Chief, you can't sell this car. You can't sell my car. I will, and I can't. Kill it, they are not about to go to Marshall. I'm not about to go Eh? I will sell it again. Nothing will happen. Look, don't let this transaction enter phase two. Phase two? Which one again is phase two? Phase two involves bodily harm. A man not pasha pasha siela. We will beat the living daylight out of you. Or you want me to ask a Obona here and Duru to give you an example chief, of his good tone? Yeah, he hasn't come to that, chief. I can say you were a good man. Eh, go to you. Did I can tell you that he did not give me my balance before he went to America? Oh, then he go to you. Did he tell you? And then, we will be kata Pay us our money. When you came to get the, I take the money, there was no problem. Procedure, I don't see, I don't even want to. You are beginning to tell me story, Mr. Gomez. He did this whole lot of 
Pay the money. No. Hey, she also go. Hey, go now. Get this man out of my office. Kill me. Really? Yes. What is it now? Yes, what is it? Sir, I need a loan. I know my accounts have been lagging. I will pick up. I need 500,000 Naira. I am in a desperate situation. What? Did I hear you just said 500,000 Naira? 500,000 Naira. So, and then you have the audacity to come to ask for loan from this company. After the way you have been behaving now. I mean, work uncompleted. All the accounts has lacked. You come to the office anytime you wish. You take long lunch hours. Only you are there. And now you want to add insult. And now you want to add salt to injury. I've just been told that you also made international calls to America. Using office phone. Or do you think I am blind to all this? Chairman. Do you? I am sorry, Chairman. I am in a very critical situation. My car. I am about to lose my car. Your car. What about Yaka? That's your problem. I have just told you that it's not possible for anybody to be given loan in this company. Period. And let me tell you, young man, it is just that I like you. Otherwise, your appointment would have been in jeopardy. Go and ask others. Go out there and ask others. Oh, yes. Just look after yourself. The art director, when you start behaving like this, Tell me, Ade, what will other staff do? I am sorry, Chairman. I, I, I am so sorry, but I am in a desperate situation here. I need a loan, sir. I have given you five hard years. The first to lock up here, the first to come to work, the last to lock up, sir. All I am asking for is a short-term loan. I will pay back in one year. Have you suddenly gone deaf? Answer me! Are you deaf? No, sir. Now, don't really annoy me. Don't get me angry. Now, go back to your work. Go back to your work! I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. I can't go back to work. I need this loan. What? And then? What's going on? Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm not mad, sir. I'm just asking you for a small loan. Now, young man, listen to me. If you really like yourself and you don't want to really annoy me, go back to your office and continue to tidy up those accounts. I can't work, sir. You can't walk. <sighs> All right. For the last time, get back to your office. Don't let me do what I don't want to do. Because you will definitely not like the other side of me. Now, you are such a young, talented man. Don't ruin your future with insubordination. Go and finish your work. Go back to your office. I can't work, sir. I can't. All right. If that's the way you want it, go back to your office and tidy up your desk. But I promise you one thing. I will never, ever tolerate insubordination in my company. Not even from you, Ade. Now, get out. You are fired. I said you are fired. Get out of my office. Go and tidy up that desk. I will need my severance pay, sir.
meet the accountant on your way out. And I do not want to see you around this vicinity anymore. I don't want to see your office. I don't want to see your, your face anymore around this office. Here's the 500,000 Naira I promised. We'll have the other 250,000 Naira by next month. Mr. Bakari, your 250,000 Naira that I told you by the end of this month would have increased to 600,000 Naira. 600,000 Naira? From 250,000 Naira? I told you that it increases by 35% every week. Did I not tell you that? Chief, I just, that I, I just lost my job. This is my severance pay I'm giving to you. I do not have anything else. I had to sell some property. Even my cell phone, sir. How will I get 250,000 Naira? You better find it. You Look, let me warn you, Mr. Baker. I don't want to shout. I'm not in the mood to shout. If by this week, uh, by the end of this month, I do not get my 250000 the whole 600000 naira together, if I do not get it, I will be forced to instruct my boys to get to phase two. Phase two again, sir. Phase two. It does not have to be that. Look, sir. I don't have any need for your car. I don't even want to shout. Go and pay me my money. That is all I'm asking you. So, show you by law. Uh, do the job. Stop, stop. 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 Not yet. I, I'm, I'm working on it. I, I'm going to get it really soon. Soon? Soon? What do you mean you'll get it soon? Ada, you promised me. You said you were going to get your visa. What happened? I know. I know. I, I, I'm i working on it. Things are really difficult. I'm in a lot of trouble. I don't understand it, Ade. I don't. If you don't want to see me, tell me. Listen, Ade, I didn't want to tell you, but Deji's been hounding me. I, I, he wants me to marry him. I, I told him, I, I, you just have to come here right away. You have to come to America right now. What? De De Deji? I, I thought you said... Uh, Olga, uh, one minute left. Uh, uh, Lola, are you, hello, Lola? Yeah. De Deji Hastrop. You know what? Tell Deji Hastrop to go to hell. Eh? I, I, I'm coming to America. If he kills me, tell Deji to go to hell. Jesus. I'm coming to America. What did I tell you? Tell him to... I thought you said he was just a pal. Tell him to go to hell. I'll be there. But when, Ade? I, I'm working on it, Lola. Soon, soon. I'm, 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 I'm working... Lola? 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 The food. What happened? I Lola, your three minutes is over. What do you mean my three minutes is, is over? Madam! Who is that? Who is that? Huh? Hey, who is okay. where? Who is where? Is your leg okay? I'm, I'm okay. But well, forget about that. That's not why I came today. What is happening to my rent? Uh, Six months now, you have not paid? Sir, I will pay Just you. Just one million naira? By next... And how come you have, my agent has been calling you, you have been dodging? I, I've been working, sir. Busy. Very no, busy No, no, no. You cannot be busy to the extent that you don't pay your rent. 
Look, I have to send money to my uh, to, to my son in London, eh? eh? For his accommodation. I have to send money to my wife. Eh? Is it a uh, busy that I'm going to use to do that? By next I don't like your attitude. I'm by, very, very unhappy with you. By next very, month, very, sir. No, no, no. I, I There's no next up. month. It has to be tomorrow. By Friday. By Friday. Friday. You know the inspector general is my friend. I, I, the chief of army staff is my friend. Sir, eh? sir, why don't you if you sit want down. me to no sit down. Sit down. Sit down for what? Is this sit down that will give me a job? I don't like that too. Now you are getting getting to my nerves. You are getting to my nerves now. Sorry, I sir. need my money Sorry, sir. like by, yesterday. By Friday, sir. If yes, I don't sir. get it by Friday, Friday. I'm going to call my First friend. Thing Friday. 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 General Police. F First eh? thing Friday, sir. And you know what I can do? Okay, sir. Please, don't test my, no, no, my sir. patience. No, so by Friday. Don't test my patience. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. You are promising me? Friday, sir. You are promising me? Friday, sir. Okay? Uh, All right. Okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Adam, what's the matter, man? The landlord's a film, man. What's what? You haven't paid your rent? Man, Bobo, forget that one, man. Ah, uh -uh. I haven't paid my rent. Where will I find one million now? By Friday. I owe the loan sharks. I have to move out of here, man. By now, they have sold my car, even. I'm just tired. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, if I see that one. Ah, uh -uh. you, sir. Congratulations, buyer. I hear you're now the new chairman of the local government. Uh, thank you, thank you. But, Mommy, you have to do something about your situation. You have to do something about your situation. Look, this situation is getting out of hand. What's wrong with you, man? Ever since you started talking about this American dream, your life has changed. Adi, can you share? This is how I started. Now it's you. Why? Forget about this American dream and go beg your boss and get back your job. Uh -uh. After I've collected my severance pay eh, from that chief of KK, that man, I don't even want to see his side any longer. You know how long I sweated for him? Five years I sweated for him. And just a simple loan, he wouldn't give it to me. Man, I'm tired of this country, man. Seriously. I, I, leave me alone, man. Ade. Tired, man. Ade. Ade, forget America. Look, this is getting, it's getting you too much trouble. You don't need it. All right. I think there is someone I, you, you need to meet. Um, he's an uncle of mine. Uh, he just came back from America. He's been in America for like about 20 years. Um, he's going to tell you about American realities and, and everything. You guys think it's what you see in home videos or movies or musical, or musical videos. It's not what you think. He will tell you about the realities of America. Let's go see him. It's the best thing done for you. Here you go. Ah, long time. How are you? Ah, nice to meet you too. So, what? Ah, oh, oh, guys. Oh, good job, sir. I haven't seen you in a while. Ah, uh, no, with politics, local government elections, and uh, congratulations, that's here. That's nice. That's nice, nice, nice. Well, eh? So, what? What me call? Oh, good. I, I want to know. I've been a while since I saw her. Let me call, you know. Uncle. Yes. Um, this is my friend Ade. Ah. Childhood friend of many. Ah, okay. okay. Ah, how are you, my dear? Oh, Just yeah. call me T. Everybody calls me that. Yes, Uncle T. Uncle, yes. Ah, I think his health bent on going to America. Mm. I told him about the job, the, the, the odd jobs, mm. the difficulties, the perpetual, perpetual search for green cards yeah. and social security cards and all that. What you fellow? Book of booty advice to do to go fed book. Yeah, I can understand. No I, 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 no, I can understand. Everybody thinks America is great. It's the end of the world. And I did too. Um, but that was 20 years ago. Over 20 years, actually. And uh, things have changed now. They no longer are the same as they used to be. Now, it's much more difficult getting things like residency permits and such other documentations. And America has gotten very tough. Very. So, Nico T, I, I was hoping you would understand. The girl of my dreams goes to a school there in Chicago. I just want to join. No, her. for visa now. They didn't give you visa. How can you go? They didn't give you visa. Um, listen. Young people get caught up in this American dream thing. Um, I, I can't blame you, but the reality is that it's much tougher than you think. Ugh. Why can't you have your girl come back to meet you after school? I mean, Bio says, uh, he told me about this before, that uh, your girlfriend is a Nigerian. Yes, Uncle T, she is. So, why, why, why don't you just mm -hmm. ask her to come back, join you after school? I mean, that's, that could be my advice to you. 
And now, Bayo tells me that you're a very talented artist. And the advertising business in Nigeria is booming. So why do you want to leave all of that and uh, travel abroad? Ah, I found myself wrong. Honestly yeah, speaking, Uncle, I've lost my job. I know I'm talented, but I'm now in a very tough situation with some loan sharks. Mm -hmm. I paid them their money, but they still want to uh, inflict physical harm on me. I mean, they have my car as collateral. I know I'm a very talented artist, and that's why I feel like I won't know what I can do in America till I get there. I'm in a bit mm -hmm. of trouble here. I, I really do not want to be in this country any longer. Well, what can I say? Um, I'll call a few friends at the American Embassy and see if we can arrange an interview for you. Um, get your passports and all those other documents ready, and uh, I'll put across a call to the embassy. You may have to attend an interview there. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, unfortunately, my passport, it will take me a bit of time to, to secure that uh, somebody took it from me, but I, I, give me a week or, or two, I will have those documents. Sir. It's all right. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. We'll try. No problem. Let's go in here! I'm sure by now they know where I live. They only gave me one week to repay them. Please help me. Mm. Joko, Joko, Joko. I've, I've already spoken with uh, Mike Thomas at the American Embassy. He's expecting me, so give him this one. It's uh, my bank statement at, uh, in America. And uh, you give him this note as an introduction note from me. Um, okay. Yes, uh, so, just give this to him, he's expecting it. It should be sorted out by the time you see it. Thank you, sir. Hey, oh, oh, bye. Oh, 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 did you get the visa? Eh? Did you get the visa? Oh, no, no. So announced, did you get the visa? No, I don't get it. Ah! Did they give you the visa? Oh, close your people in now, close your wall. Did they give you the visa? Is that what you said? Oh, boy. America, here I come! Oh, my God! 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 Oh, Oh, my God! 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 Ah, I mean, I went to see him this morning. You know, I, I, I'm just coming from there right now. You have to go and see him, man. You have to go see him. Look, I, I'm running late. Is you okay? I need to go for a meeting. Go see him. Go see him. Go. The guy sounds so bad. Go and see him. I'm running. Look, go see him. Oh. Let me, I'm going for a meeting now. Where is Auntie Joy? She has gone to work. Uh, 
I can't, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what to say, man. Um, don't give up, man. I mean, you can still make it to America. Oh, bloody America. Listen, just forget that thing. For me, there's nothing like American dream. It does not exist. Oh, bloody America. What am I going to do? They make everything look so enticing. People rush, and then they will block you this nonsense visa. They turn me into a visa consultant, and nothing happened. Man, what are you saying? Listen to yourself, man. This is not you, man. Ah, you can't give up on the dream, man. Hey, 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 hey. They send you. Don't you understand what is happening? Or you want me to speak in Swahili? The thing is simple. Everybody's doing fine except me. Look at Bayo. Bayo we used to hang out with Dream Beer with a local government chairman. We need to make us stand with the secretary for hours before we see Bayo. And you, you're not even doing badly. They just gave you a visa. That means you're going to America very soon. All of you are doing fine. It's me that I've got nothing to show for it. Absolutely nothing. My brother, let me describe Singapore to you. Singapore can be described in one sentence. Hell on earth. You know, when I got there, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a hard man, you understand? They, they wanted to style this, their shakara. They said they give me watery soup and funny wheat bread like that. I went on hunger strike. You know, I'm a hard man. I held it up like that for three whole days. After that, by weekend, my guy, I was eating that food and asking for more like Oliver Twist. And to eat more, you need to be engaged in something constructive. And you know me, I don't get any skills. So they say because I don't get skills, make I begin handle sanitary duties there. My guy, guess the kind of sanitary duty where they give me. <laughs> Washing of toilets. Those stupid bastards, it will not be better for them. They don't use toilet, they shit on the ground. Just to punish me, so I wash toilet. Six months I wash toilet to a point that sm stop smelling shit. Right now, that, that, uh, my guy, I suffered. I came back here, I was so lean at the airport, and team sister passed me, she didn't know it was me. And now, the doctor has placed me on one year complete.